Hi everybody, Ben Maestas here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you seven gimbal moves for your real estate filming. I'm using the DJI RS2, but you can use any gimbal you want. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video for an extra pro tip on how to make your shots pop, 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 pop. Gimbal move one is panning while standing still. So this will be in pan follow mode. So you can do this in two ways. One, you can just rotate slightly. And you can set your gimbal to however fast you want it to pan with you. I have this extra handle right here. Uh, so for me, it's easier to use my body. So I just kind of bend down with my knees and then pan by twisting my body and then the gimbal just follows. Okay, easy. So gimbal move two is push-pull, and this is also in pan-follow mode. So basically what you're gonna be doing is you're just holding the gimbal still, and you're just, with your knees bent, just walking forward or backwards. Have to be honest, forward is a little bit easier. So sometimes what I do is I'm always pushing forward and then in editing, I reverse the clip, but you can also walk backwards. You just wanna make sure you're not gonna bump into anything. So gimbal move three is also in pan follow mode and it's just basically an up and down motion. So you're standing still and you're just moving the gimbal up. And down. This is really nice when you're like moving behind furniture. It's a really nice reveal. Or showing off countertops in the kitchen. Gimbal move four. So gimbal move four is a side to side. Side to side. But on the gimbal, what I do, a custom mode, and I turn off all the axes. So I turn off tilt axis, turn off the roll, and turn off the pan. So what that does is it locks everything. So, see, it, like, it won't move. So what that does is for side to side, I find it really helpful to have, to walk actually sideways. It's way easier walking sideways. Here, let me show you. Then walking like this. If you're crab walking, you're not gonna get very stable footage. It's gonna be kind of really bouncy. So you still wanna be able to have that, those bent knees and do your ninja walk really slow. But I find this really useful to lock all your axes and then just walk. So gimbal move five, we're gonna use pan tilt follow mode because we're gonna break the horizon line and let the camera move in the up down plane so you can see if i tip it up the gimbal will follow there and down which makes for a really nice reveal so gimbal move six we're putting it back to pan follow mode and we're actually going to be orbiting so what you want to do is you want to fix your gimbal or fix the lens on a subject and you're just kind of doing a nice slow walk around. And so you're doing a slight rotation while trying to keep your subject in the center of the frame. So 
you can see what I'm doing is I kind of turn my body so that way I'm walking the way, walking forward versus sideways like this because this makes, you know, my camera's bouncing around and it's just not very smooth. Gimbal Move 7 is an orbit and pan tilt follow mode. So this is definitely a more advanced move because you're orbiting around in a semicircle or in a circle around your subject, but you're also breaking the horizontal plane. So this one just takes a little bit of practice, but you can come up with some really cool shots. And then if you really want your shots to pop, foreground, 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 foreground. You want to use foreground uh, because that really is a nice way to show more motion in your shot. Also, if you're using a shallow depth of field, that really just makes a beautiful shot. So here's a few examples of using foreground. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or if there's any additional uh, tutorials that you'd like to see. And I'm happy to provide those for you. Thanks.